What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash this up and be notified for future readings. It's free general collective reading for all signs, past through side to everybody in between. Never to the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with the rest. Free general collective reading. Love you guys so much. I'm in a different chair, different setup, but we're still doing it. Just saying. Hope I hope uh, that uh, hope everybody's doing well. Just just saying. Okay, so this is a um, weekly reading for Sign of Taurus, uh, tentatively for 11.15 to 11.22 of 2022, so for yesterday, but we're doing Taurus and Capricorns today. Um, I did uh, receive one channel message as I was meditating on Taurus's energy, weekly energy. The channel message I heard was, um, some action is about to be taken soon. That's what I heard. So you plug it in, however that resonates and applies, of course. Some action is being taken to, uh, soon. So you know, energies can, can be reversed, so it could be action taken by you, or action taken by somebody else, or both. You taking action and somebody else taking action. Some kind of action energy, um, fast-paced, I'm feeling, action energy, um, which is good, just saying. So however that resonates and applies, okay? So some action's about to be taken soon. Um, whether it's from you or somebody you're connected to, or both energies, or what have you, what have you, okay? Fire ant, fish, for some of you dealing with fire sign or water sign. If you are, they can have Aries Leo side, your Cancer Pisces Scorpio, and their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, Manhammer, Jupiter charts. Just saying. Love you guys so much. And welcome my new subscribers and everybody. Just saying, just saying. Um, I gained about 20 or 30 subscribers last night. So thanks so much, you guys. You guys are the bestest. So some action about to be taken soon, whether it's from you or somebody you're connected to. Only you know your situation and story, not anybody else, of course, okay? Spirit message is your Amazon Taurus. Spirit message is your Amazon Taurus. A very significant child custody battle is about to become very significant in a Taurus's life. A very significant child custody battle is about to become very significant in Taurus's life. Some kind of child custody battle energy, whether it's you in the middle of a child custody battle or somebody else in the middle of a child custody battle. Some kind of very significant child custody battle is about to become significant in Taurus's life, whether it's you in the middle of a child custody battle. Um, or somebody else. Or maybe your legal team or somebody like auxiliary staff dealing with the child custody battle in some shape, form, or fashion. How that resonates and applies to us. An arrogant, boastful person you should not cross. Tankard, celebration, fun, and enjoyment. Spirit message is here for the person. A Taurus is about to ever regret, regret getting involved with the low vibrational Libra very soon. They already regret it. A Taurus is about to ever regret getting involved with the low vibrational Libra uh, soon, but I heard you already regret it. So I think you regret it a little bit already, Taurus, but it sounds like upcoming you're about to regret it a lot. Whoever this low vibrational Libra is, they don't treat people with honesty, trust, respect, morals, ethics, integrity, and values. Um, Mask one if you have Libra. They can have Libra in any aspects of their chart. Whoever this Libra is to you. Um, but they're definitely very low vibrational. I feel for some they could be that arrogant, boastful person you should not cross, possibly. Or for some, I feel they might have made you depressed or caused something to make, um, cause a situation to make you depressed. There's a reason you regret ever being involved with them already a little bit. And now you're about to regret it a lot, is what I'm saying. So I feel for some you might have gained some depression from this situation or is about to. Um, and I think they're very arrogant, or they come across very arrogant. Um, however, that resonates and applies. Fire ant. 
A shocking turn of events. One, a Taurus is about to have, help make these shocking turn of events happen, but they're about to come to fruition soon. One, you're about to be shocked of these turn of events. Not related to you in one situation, one situation they are. One is positive, one is negative. So some kind of shocking turn of events energy. Whether you are directly related to the shocking turn of events, Taurus, or you're not, um, how that resonates and applies. For one shocking turn of events, it's going to go pop very positively, either for you or somebody you're connected to. For one, it's going to go negatively. And for um, one of you guys, you're indirectly involved with the sho um, shocking turn of events. One, you're directly involved. And for one, you're going to help the, the wheel turn with the shocking series of chain events um, for somebody else, it sounds like. So you plug it in how it resonates. So far in, shocking series of chain events. A significant visit to an EEOC office and a significant child protective service visit is about to come very significant towards his life. Significant child protective service visit and a significant um, EEOC visit um, to an EEOC office is about to come significant towards his life. So I feel for some, it might be you about to visit the EEOC office or somebody you're connected to. Um, or you might be a social worker or a case manager about to visit um, someone's home for a uh, child protective service visit possibly, or you might be in the home and a child protective service worker, i.e. a social worker visits you. How that resonates and applies, but um, a lots of energy, like fire sign energy, action energy here, um, however you plug in the situation, whether you you're visiting the EEOC office or you know somebody that's about to or you're going to be in the home when the um, child protective service social worker visits or you are the child protective service social worker that visits or what have you what have you um gonna be shocked Something that comes out of a child's mouth to you soon is about to alert, alert you in a huge way. A very huge way. You will take action this time. Okay. So for one of you guys, something that's about to come out of a child's mouth um, soon. It sounds like it hasn't come out of a child's mouth yet, but it's about to come out of their mouth soon. Um, it's about to alert you. I heard you're about to take great action this time. So... I think maybe the child has said this before or said, spoke on the situation before or spoke regarding something relating this before, something to do with past energy. Whether they've said something near this or said the same thing, whatever it is, I didn't hear what it was, but something similar I think has happened regarding words coming out of this child's mouth in the past or a situation or something in the past. Sounds like you looked the other way in the past, but I heard this time you're not going to. You're going to take great action. So fire sign energy. Um, you're going to take great action. It is about to alert you in a huge way. Because situations have changed drastically. And you're about to realize that this is what has caused it. Oh my God Almighty. Okay. I heard it's going to alert you in a huge way this time because the difference from the last time to this time, Taurus, is situations with a child or children, I heard child, it could be one child, it could be two or two plus children, have changed drastically since the last time they spoke about this or said this or said something relating to it, whatever it is. Uh, but but the, it sounds like the child's environment and the child's ch living situation or environment or something very drastic regarding the child has changed hugely since the last time the child has spoke this or spoke on it or spoke something similar to it or something like that. So it's about to alert you in a huge way because I heard you thought um, that basically it sounds like the previous environment was the problem 
but you're about to realize the current situation is the problem. Definite the current situation. Definite the current situation. That's that's confirmation. Definite the current situation. So, yeah. So you thought the previous. There's a reason the child has completely switched situations. Is what I'm trying to say. There's a reason they've completely switched situations. I feel for some this could be living situations, um, or parent situations, or you know they could have moved to new residence with the same parent, or they could have switched parental guardian or guardians, or they could have um, moved countries. I mean, living situation, what have you, what have you. For some, they could have been living in their vehicle, and now they're living in mansion. But however that resonates, something huge has changed, whether it's guardian or guardians, parent or parents, huge, moved 500 miles, lived with a different parent or parents, or what have you, what have you. But something huge has changed. You thought the other situation was the problem whatever it was but you're about to realize that current situation is the problem not the not the previous situation whatever that was and how that applies um and i heard you're gonna take action so fish A Taurus is about to be able to effectively transmute an entire situation. About to use heavy Piscean energy to do it. A Taurus is about to be able to effectively transmute an entire situation. You're about to use Piscean energy to do it. So heavy transmutation of energy here. Um, you're going to be able to transmute the energy, the entire situation. Um, and you're going to use Piscean energy to do it. So intuition you're going to use your intuition is what i'm feeling i heard heavy piscean energy so you're going to use your intuition um your inner knowing your intuition and um and i'm sure air sign energy too your logic reasoning cognition logical skills but your intuition your third eye just saying um to transmute an entire situation and it's going to be very effective very effective For one, it's nasty co-workers. For one, it is regarding children. Very important situation regarding children. <clears throat> so for one of you guys, it's regarding nasty co-workers. <clears throat> so it sounds like you're nasty co-workers, and that's terrible. I've been around nasty co-workers. It's, it's never fun. I'm sorry. So for one, you have nasty co-workers. You're about to be able to transmute the entire situation using your Piscean energy. Uh, it sounds like you're nasty co-workers. Congratulations. And for one... It's regarding children and a situation with children. But you're about to use your intuition, your Piscean energy to do it. And now you're going to change the entire situation. For the better. For the better. For the better. Well, you got your Piscean energy cells. I think you have Pisces in your chart. Uh, you, get, you can have in your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Thumb, and Haven, Jupiter charts. If that resonates and applies for you, Pis uh, Pisces. Of course. Just saying. That's beautiful. That, I mean, transmutation of energy is very important in a 2022 world. And that's just the truth. Uh, color code drug screening is about to become very significant in Taurus's life. For one, you're going to administer it. For one, you are taking it. A color code drug screening is about to become very significant in Taurus's life. For one, you're taking this uh, drug screening. For one, you are administering it. So you have to plug yourself in where you fit. If you're going to administer the color code drug screen, or are you going to... Um, uh, be taking it. How that resonates, okay? For some, I feel like we dealing with the Pisces in this situation, possibly, or fire sign. If you are, they could have Aries Leo side, you're Pisces. Rooster, an arrogant, boastful, boastful person you should not cross.
A very cocky Libra is about to be brought down to size. You are about to smile in a huge way behind the scenes when this happens. A very cocky Libra is about to be brought down to size soon. Uh, I heard you're about to smile behind the scenes when this happens. For one, it's a masculine Libra. For one, it's a thin Libra. For one, it's a masculine Libra. For one, it's a thin Libra. So some kind of cocky Libra energy. You've been pulling in heavy Libra energy in this reading for us. So whoever this cocky Libra is, um, literally cocky with the rooster energy. Cocky. Just saying. Um, arrogant, boastful person is a cocky person. And we've got the rooster on there. And just saying. Rooster, cock, just saying. Um, so a cocky person. Uh, but it's a Libra and energy. Ma for some, it's a masculine. For some, it's a femme. For some, it could be both. But I heard they're about to be brought down the size soon. I heard when this happens, it sounds like you're going to be on the sidelines watching it happen. I'm feeling for some, or for some, you could hear about it. But how that resonates, I heard when it happens, you're going to basically, like, smile to yourself. Um, like, secretly enjoy it. Uh, it doesn't sound like you're the one about to bring them down. Definitely not going to bring them down. It's going to be somebody else. Okay, so you're not going to be the one to bring them down to size. It's going to be somebody else. Somebody else is about to bring them down to size, but it's about to keep their ego in check or put their ego in check. Um, and you're going to secretly smile to your face, celebrate inside, what have you, what have you. This is your cocky Libra, mask or femme cocky Libra. They could have Libra in their sun, rising, Venus, or Thome, and here Jupiter charts, Taurus. Yikes. You know, it, I, listen, I just want to say, as far as cockiness is concerned, I don't care if I had $5 in my bank account or $5 billion. Everyone should always remain humble, and that's just the truth. I don't care if you look like Brad Pitt or Angelina Jolie or you look like Shrek. I mean, or you have $5 in your bank account or $5 million, or you live in a $100,000 home or a million-dollar home. Everyone should always remain humble about wherever they are in life at all times because cockiness never looks good on anybody, and that's just the truth. I mean, I'm just saying. Tankard, celebration, fun, and enjoyment. A Taurus is about to go out to a very fun bar soon. You're about to have a really good time. You're about to go out with somebody new. And it's going to be very fun. Oh, wow. Congratulations, whoever that's for. So, for one of you guys, you're about to... I like bars. Bar scene. I mean, I'm not a, you know, bar scene addict or anything. I haven't been out to a bar in like... Whoa, like... I'm like an old woman. I'm 39. But... I haven't been out to bars since the last time I went on a date, and that's been like four years ago. So it's been a hot minute for me. But I like like the different, like the eclectic sceneries of the different bars, and um, and you know, like the drink. Like I like to have a drink every now and then, like a social drink. I haven't had a drink in like four years, but I mean, you know, it's it's fun scenery. It's fun to get out. It's fun to see the new stuff. Is my perspective on this, but um. But you're about to go to a fun new bar. I heard a fun new bar. So I don't think you've ever been there. I think it's one of those eclectic bars is what I'm trying to say. Like the one on the bar scene or something. But whoever you are, I don't think, think you're an alcoholic or a, a, like a bar hopper and you go out and party every weekend. I just think you're going to a bar to have fun with somebody. And it's somebody new. And I don't think it's this cocky person. Just think you're going to relax and have a good time with somebody new. I heard you're going to have a really fun time with this person. So celebration, fun, and enjoyment with the new energy. Um, I feel it can be masculine energy, and I feel it can be any sign. For some, it could be a fire sign or a Piscean. But I heard you're going to have a blast, man. So congratulations. Um, that's really wonderful.
For one, you're about to go to a bachelorette party. For one, you're about to go to a bachelorette party. And it's about to be wild. And it's about to be wild. Oh, crap. You're about to go to a bachelorette party and it's about to be wild. So, well, you go with your bad self. I mean, I've never been to a bachelorette party. Um, but I know people that have. Um, but you're about to go to one. I heard it's going to be wild. I'd be careful. Hopefully nobody calls the police. Unless you get like a police stripper. Just saying, just saying. Claw, be careful. Do not take risks. A Taurus's husband is about to do something very out of the way. You are a Taurus femme, married Taurus femme. It's about to be so out of the way and so strange. It's about to make you sit back and just think about things. And once you think about things, you're going to realize he's doing this for a reason. And you're going to keep watching. And then you're going to figure out why he's doing it. And then you're going to snoop and then you're gonna realize it's not going to be good emails are significant and text messages under a hidden name oh lord this don't sound good for us i'm just being for real uh y'all know i keep it 100 on here but that don't sound good and i'm just being for real okay so you're married, Taurus, Femme, legally married. You have a husband. Um, and I hate to say it, hate to break the news, but whoever this is for, it's not good, man. And I'm just being for real. But I wonder if it's cheating. I didn't hear it was. But it makes me wonder if it is. If it's not cheating, it's something criminal or behind the scenes or backhanded. or It's something not good, whatever it is, is what I'm saying. Whether it's cheating or something else. But anyways... It involves emails and text messages, but the text messages are under a different name than, I guess, whoever he's communicating with, um, and possibly the email. But when I got the channeling, it sounded like it was under the, um, different name was under the text message, but for some, it could be a different email name, too. But somebody needs to be careful. Um, your husband's about to start acting weird, very weird. But for reasons. But I heard when he's going to start acting weird, you're going to start noticing. You're going to step back and start watching him. Watching him, watching him, watching him. But you're going to keep watching him. So you're going to like take a step back and just kind of watch what the hell he's doing. But I heard he's going to keep doing it. And it sounds like it might be repetitive behavior. Or it sounds like it might be repetitive behavior. But you're going to keep watching it and basically figure out what the hell he's doing. And um, it involves... Negative energy involving emails and a specific text number under a different, like a pseudo name. So, um, be careful. Do not take risk. I think is um, stepping back and watching what he's doing and don't be impulsive at first and like lash out at him, yelling and screaming at him. Um, really sit back and watch what he's doing to try to figure out what, you know, I try to, I'm assuming the email and the, um, Pseudo text is what I'm presuming, but um, you plug it in how it resonates, okay, Taurus? That's for one of you guys, your married Taurus fam. It doesn't sound like it's happened yet, but do not take uh, risk when it comes to your married husband is what I'm presuming here, ma'am. Um, trying to figure out what's going on, and I, I heard you're going to. You're going to you're gonna figure out what's going on, but it sounds like it's going to take a minute. It sounds like it's going to take a minute for you to figure out really what's going on. It's going to take some patience. Rooster, an arrogant, boastful person you should not cross. I think it's this arrogant ex-husband because whatever the crap he's doing, I'll see if I hear anything else, but whatever he's doing is not good. Whether it's cheating, criminal activities, or whatever else it is. I mean, I don't know, but whatever it is, is not good.
A phone call in the middle of the night is about to be significant in this. And you will answer. A phone call in the middle of the night will be significant in this, and I heard you will answer. So that resonates with you. It sounds like in this mix, there's going to be a phone call in the middle of the night, and I heard you will answer. But, um, yeah, it's an arrogant ex-husband, uh, not ex-husband, current husband. He thinks he can get over on you. Um, what I think it might be criminal activity or it might be um, cheating. Um, you plug it in, how it resonates, Taurus. I hope you catch his ass. If it's cheating, I hope you catch him and you divorce him. And I'm just being for real. And if it's criminal behavior, I hope you catch him and I hope you divorce him. I mean, I wouldn't. I don't know about you guys, but I wouldn't want to be married no damn criminal. And that's just the truth. Of course, everybody's different. Fly, uh, fly a period of ill health and depression. An Aquarius is about to shock the hell out of you when it comes to a Leo fam. You have really backed away from this Aquarius in a huge way. A very huge way. It's an Aquarius masculine. He's about to move towards her soon. It's about to shock you. Okay, so some kind of Aquarius masculine energy. He could have Aquarius and his sun, moon, rising, Venus, ortho, moon, Hamer, Jupiter, charts. Doesn't sound like he's moved towards the Leo them yet, but it sounds like he's about to um, move towards her, I think, energetically. So that could be a phone call. That could be a text. That could be an email. That could be a face-to-face. -face, um, that could be snail mail. But moving towards somebody energetically doesn't have to be face-to-face. -face. It can be communication, like on the phone, face-to-face, um, -face, snail mail text message, whatever, 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 okay? But he, uh, I heard you have backed away from him. And you will continue to back away from him. And you will continue to back away from him, is what I heard. And you will, so you're going to continue to back away from him, is what it sounds like for us. If you resonate with that, you're going to continue to back away from him. So do not take risks when it comes to Aquarius masculine. Sounds like y'all have had your run, your go, or whatever it was there. I don't know what it was there. Only you know what it was there, but energetically you've backed away from him so i don't think you're communicating or if you're communicating it's not much um but you have backed up sounds like you have backed up but it sounds like for reasons for very good reasons and it's about to work out best for you and her and him in huge ways okay i heard you have that you backed up for huge reasons you backed up for huge reasons and i heard it's going to work out best for you her and him in huge ways so, well, I mean, it sounds like it's going to work out for all three of you. That's good. So you have energetically backed up. And I heard you're going to continue. But it sounds like you know what you need to do there, Taurus. Sounds like you know what you needed to do for yourself and you're doing it, which is smart. I heard it's going to work out for you, Taurus, the Aquarius masculine, and the Leo them all in huge ways. So that's good. However, that resonates and applies for us. I mean, everybody should be happy. But I heard he's going to energetically move towards her soon. Now, like I said, energetic energy that could just be a text message that could be a phone call that could be watching somebody's social media that's trying to energetically um not dabble in somebody's energy but try um it energetically connecting with someone um watching their energy on social media you see what i'm saying um but i heard it's um gonna benefit all three of you in huge ways so whoever you are taurus and how that resonates okay but you have moved away from him. But it sounds like he's about to move towards her. But it's going to benefit all three of you. If that makes sense. For one, you're very carefully watching a situation. In a community. Neighborhood. For one, you're a private investigator. For one, you're a private investigator. So for one, you're a private investigator and you're very carefully watching a neighborhood. Um, so you plug it in, how it resonates. So be careful, do not take risks. Um, uh, uh, there's a reason you're watching this neighborhood and you're not neighborhood watch. And uh, there's a reason you're watching it. And I think the neighborhood watch isn't really neighborhood watch in their neighborhood. There's a reason you're there, private investigator. And it's probably because the neighborhood watch really fucking ain't neighborhood watch. And that's just the truth. Um, so I think you are the neighborhood watch. 
and somebody's paying you to do it because you're a private investigator or unless you're doing it on your own time and dime and what have you, what have you. Um, it's about to benefit in a huge way. It's about to benefit in a huge way. So you watching a neighborhood or neighborhoods or a situation or something in a neighborhood is about to benefit you in a huge way, private investigator. You're a private investigator, so careful watching here. Watchful eyes, they're watching you. I feel for some you're watching a crime-ridden neighborhood, and I didn't hear you are, but intuitively I feel you are. Fly, a period of ill health and depression. Someone, not you, is about to break a bone soon. It's about to bring them down. Down for a little bit. Someone, not you, is about to break a bone soon. It's about to bring them down for a little bit. So, you plug it in how it resonates. Sounds like um, like R&R, &R, like rest and relaxation for a little bit. Like, you know gotta prop the cast up on the couch or rice rest ice um uh, compress elevate kind of energy um well if it's in a cast it's already you know it's compressed in a cast but um taking it easy is what i'm trying to say somebody's about to break your bone uh, and it's basically about to bring them like i feel uh what's it called um when you get put on like you're at an employment situation and you get injured but you um light duty i feel for some i heard it's not you it's somebody else i feel for some they might get put on light duty if they're in an employment situation or if they're not they're not working um they just maybe they're very active i heard it's going to bring them down for a while so i don't i think they're one that likes to get up and move and go and do and they like to stay active i don't think they like to sit on the couch every day of their damn life and sit around and waste their life away um, they like to get, be active. So I think it's going to, um, um, make them step back for a minute. That's what I think. Period of ill health and depression that they might make them a little depressed. A Pisces is about to move out of a community soon. It is about to shock you. They're heavily, for one, they're heavily depressed. For one, you're going to be depressed. Okay, a Pisces is about to move out of a community soon. I heard it's going to shock you. For one, it's going to make you depressed that they're moving for us. For one, they are heavily depressed. So, I, I mean, you could be depressed or not that they're moving. Uh, for one, you might care, you might not. But uh, for one, you are going to be sad. You're going to be depressed that they're moving. It's at least two Pisces. It could be a masculine, fan Pisces, have Pisces in any aspects of their charts. But they're, they're moving the entire community. So they're not moving down the street. They're moving, like, one community to another. Um, I don't feel like out-of-state energy or really long distances. I heard out-of-community. So, you know, one community to another. But... For one of you guys, it's going to make you depressed the Pisces moving, so I think you're very close to them. For one, I I mean, you could be upset or not, but, um, or, I mean, how that resonates, but um, they are depressed, and that's why they're moving. So, depression energy, Piscean energy, moving community.
For one, you're going to be shocked. There's about to be huge, huge, huge changes to a Leo Finn's channel soon. Huge changes. For one, you're going to be happy for her. For one, you're not. And it's going to really make you de a little depressed. I heard a little depressed. Okay. So, huge changes coming to a Leo Finn's channel. Now, that could be any Leo Finn in the universe. Confirmation on my phone, by the way. Um, they could have Leo in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or them in here with Jupiter charts. But however that resonates, basically, uh, there's going to be huge changes to her channel. But for one, you're going to be happy for her. So, I think it's going to be good changes. It's going to be good changes, and you're going to be happy for her. For one, I heard it's going to make you a little depressed. So, I think you watch her channel. I heard a channel, so I think it might be on YouTube or any other platform with channels. But... If it's going to make you a little depressed, there's a little pettiness up in there. And I'm just being for real, for real. Just saying. There's a little pettiness up in that Taurus self. If you're a little depressed. Just saying. But for one, I heard you're going to be very happy for her. So you have to plug it in how it resonates there, um, Taurus. Do you have some petty, petty Betty in you? Petty, uh... What, Petty Betty, Petty uh, Teddy, whatever, whatever in you, or do you not? Just saying, just saying. But it sounds like it's going to be good changes there, and I'm just being for real. It is about to start making her channel grow hugely, hugely. It's about to start making her channel grow hugely. So these changes she's about to make to her channel... Uh, it's about to start making her channel grow hugely. Well, that's always a good thing. So, just saying. All right. Hopefully, no petty betty. Petty teddy. Just saying, just saying. I love you guys. Everybody have a fantastical day, my dears. And namaste.